My case originally started as a free speech issue. But because of the SBU and the inherent corruption of the SBU and the criminal justice system in Ukraine, I will definitely be sent to a prison labor camp where I will most certainly die. How's that for a prediction on your own life? Ladies and gentlemen, Gonzalo Lira reported and confirmed dead in a prison in Ukraine. He was tortured and murdered and he lost his life. It's a sad day and it's a sad thing because I was a big fan of Gonzalo Lira. I think he talked a lot of truth. I think he was one of those people that just speak to a camera without any editing, all that kind of stuff. Smoke on the camera, that laugh he had, the way he, he communicated with people, that, that sounds he make <laughs> or sounds he made. Um, he was a good talker. He was really a good talker. He was a good guy. But unfortunately, the ugly side of life in that war zone in Ukraine, the proxy war in Ukraine, got the better of him. Now, this video that I'm making, I'm sure you know the story, it's breaking news, everybody's talking about it. The reason I'm making this video is, I actually want to say I was wrong, because, you see, I made a video five months ago when he tried to cross the border in Hungary. Hungary. Um, he uploaded those videos and he tried to get across the border and tried to claim political asylum before his court dates. I thought that was all theatre. And I want to tell you why I thought it was theatre. I actually mentioned it, mentioned it in my video that I made. It's still on my channel. But when he was detained in April 22, 2022, he was gone. They seized his coach Red Bull channels, his laptops. You remember that story. And then he reappeared. And uh, I predicted that. I said he will reappear. A lot of people said he's dead. It's the end of Gonzalo Lira. I said he will come back. It's not a big deal because I thought, you know, it is a free speech case. And, <laughs> you know, Ukraine is literally fighting, according to them, for democracy and freedom. And with that is free speech. So I made a prediction back in April 22 where I said, don't worry, he will be back. And boom, a couple of weeks later or a month later, he reappeared after the detention and he started a new channel remember the Gonzalo Lira again and the round table channel but when I saw the videos of him where he went to the border and tried to cross the border I literally thought that was a theater because you see when he disappeared that month I think it was a month you can help me in the comment section but a few weeks or a month um, there was a big hype about Gonzalo Lira and when he reappeared his channels exploded way more faster and bigger than his previous channels right so I liked what the guy said he speak a lot of truth but I also had this funny feeling about him that he's he's a little bit untrustworthy type of guy I just had a funny feeling about him he's a little bit weird you know what I mean so I called the border crossing into Hungary, Hungary uh, uh, a theater to try or staged to try and build up his channels bigger I did say it on publicly on my channel but I'm also now stating publicly that I was wrong because that man told us in that video five kilometers from the Hungary border that if they catch him he will go to a prison labor camp and he will die and that's what happened so sometimes we are wrong and I need to admit it and I admit it I was wrong um, it's it's a shock to think in the name of free speech that man lost his life he was in a prison tortured and then essentially murdered and that all because of his opinions and he was a smart smart person intellectual he was very he, he was super smart that guy um, so it's very shocking in my opinion but I was wrong I was wrong now on the story my friends another thing that's a little bit weird for me I just want to get this out of the way is the Duran channel had a video with Gonzalo Lira senior his father and that is literally two three days ago just before his death 
Now, I don't know, if you look at that interview, they hammered very down on the fact that he's, he's, he's really sick. He's, 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 he's at the end. In my opinion, that, that's the feeling I got from that video. As if they knew. I don't know, man. It's very, very strange, the timing of that video. But I won't go up against this because I was wrong, which I just admitted. I'm a guy that if I'm wrong, I'll admit it. I just say it's a little bit weird. Uh, two, three days just before his death. And if you look at that interview deeply, or if you pay close attention, you'll see what I mean. Uh, very strange. I'm just going to leave it there. Very strange. But the US government, nor the Chilean government, did nothing to help this man while he explained and reported to the prison guards and to everybody and to his defense team um, that he's really ill. None of these governments helped this man. He's an American citizen. It's their duty to do so. They are the ones funding billions of dollars into Ukraine to fight for democracy and freedom against the evil Russians. But they are the ones that kind of, in my opinion, allowed this to naturally happen. You understand the death of Gonzalo Lira. It's evil what is going on in the, Ameri in, in the US, in America. It's evil what is going on around the world. By now, I'm sure you all know that Ukraine is a setup. It's a psyop. It is a, <clears throat> it's a, it's a corrupt nation, like which we never seen before. It's a money laundering area for the U.S. government, the warlords, the war machines. It's a, it's a lab for the war equipment to test on real humans against the Russians. You must remember the Russians only invaded and i'm using this word on purposely because that's what the anti-russian people understand they will watch this video i'm sure the only reason why russia invaded ukraine is because zelensky refused he refused to just say these words putin we will not join nato just that sentence could have saved many many lives and years of war and money but you see they don't want that because the, the american government the, the, and actually the western powers they don't want this the the warlords because they make money it's a lab it's a it's it's it's, it's a psyop it's a <laughs> it's it's a test they want to see what they can do how far they can push the public how far can we buy into their propaganda how far can we back nazis oh how far can we back nazis in this war how far can we go man how far can they fool us, letting us believe a president that's a real actor, a sitting president that's a real actor, became actually really the president of a nation. So by the way, Biden is the president of Ukraine. Zelensky is the vice president, in my opinion. But they did nothing. And the sad thing is, it's scary what's going on. In the West, your free speech is done. It's over. It's finished. It needs to be controlled. The days of just speaking your mind and your opinions regarding political or sensitive controversial issues are over. And I'm sitting in China and I have the right to speak. So let that also sink in. I have way more free speech here in China than what you guys have in America and in the West essentially. But my friends, Gonzalo Lira died in 2024 and it's a sad day. Well. It's a sad story let's rather leave it there recently i've been uploading truth about people's lives so you guys like it my previous video got age restricted because the uk government didn't like the fact that i told you the truth about the bno passport money they make and the lady that i'm not going to use that word but she didn't make it in the uk they age restricted that video for the rest of the world not to see and that reminds me can you all remember Gonzalo Lira always spoke about Tiffany Dover it's 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 a similar similar situation people try to tell to to sweep that story that I published the video before this one under the rug they try to hide sensitive stories that he, that that are 
pointing not one finger but all five fingers towards the real damage maker and the, the culprit and that is the US government, UK government, the Western powers. They don't want you guys to see these type of videos. I mean, that's why Julian Assange sits in prison today and most probably will have the same fate as Gonzalo Lira in the name of free speech. And today is the 13th of January 2024 and the big heist is busy happening in Taiwan all in the name of freedom and democracy they are fooling us we need to wake up you need to wake up you need to see what's going on but i believe this year a lot of people will wake up and see the reality of of all this fakeness going on around us ladies and gentlemen this video uh, is really really honest from my heart telling you and admitting i was wrong and telling you the story gonzalo lira has I don't want to use these words on YouTube because the AIDS restrict us, but you know what I'm talking about. So may your soul rest in peace and may you all understand that your free speech is over. Be careful what you say online. Be careful what countries you go to. Be, be careful what countries you back. But if you brave enough, stand up for what is true. The world needs truth. It's going to be a wild year. It started off very crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Leave your comment. Leave your like. And I'll see you all in another video. Cheers, man. And ladies.